Hello, I am Monica. It's been only a few weeks since we released OpenZava 7.5.1, and now we already have a new release, more secure, more robust, more of everything. Version 7.5.2 This version is a maintenance release where the most important changes are bug fixes. Additionally, we have updated some third-party libraries and worked on the documentation. It's worth updating. There are no compatibility issues with the previous version, and our application will be more secure and robust. We have updated the dependencies for the embedded Tomcat and PDF box. Additionally, we have also updated the JDBC driver version for MySQL, Oracle, and Firebird used in the documentation and in the palm.xml of new projects. We always strive to improve the documentation with each version, so you can find what you need, or so that ChatGPT or DeepSeek have more details and source code to give you more accurate answers. The main improvement has been the explanation for customizing the creation actions in references. It's not done with that new action like in collections, but by creating a controller, which sometimes can be confusing. Now all the details are explained, the example controller is more complete, there are screenshots, and the full Java code of the actions is included. We've also improved the documentation about calculated collections. There were already some examples, but it wasn't explicitly stated that they were calculated collections. Now, calculated collections are first-class citizens in the documentation. That, along with some other improvements in collection documentation. And finally, the main course, the bugs. We've fixed an issue that caused that you will lose all changes, warning to appear when it shouldn't, especially when editing collection elements in a dialog. We've resolved many bugs related to dates and times in certain languages and with some versions of Java. We've also fixed a visual issue with totals in element collections. And a few other things. To update to the latest version of OpenZava, you don't need to download OpenZava Studio again. In fact, you don't need to download anything at all. All you have to do is change the version number in the palm.xml of your projects. Let's take a look. Open your project's palm.xml file. In the openzava.version entry write 7.5.2 and save. On the project choose run as, maven clean. Then go to run as. And choose maven install. Wait a moment. And your project is already upgraded to 7.5.2 and ready to run. Moreover, from now on, when you create a new project from OpenZava Studio, it will default to version 7.5.2 without you having to configure anything. OpenZava Studio always uses the latest available version for new projects. To know all the details, I recommend checking the full announcement on the openxava.org blog. In the video description, you will find the direct link. Bye.